My name is Colleen. I'm nearly 35 years old and I'm living my worst nightmare. Let me explain. When I was a little kid, my cousins and I always played a game called Old Maid at my grandma's house. It was like Go Fish, but extremely heteronormative. The deck was filled with couples, boy and girl bakers, boy and girl farmers. The goal was to match up the couples and run out of cards. But there was one card that didn't have a match. The old maid. If you were the last person in the game, then you became the old maid. In a world of Disney princesses, the old maid was the thing I dreaded becoming the most. Somehow I got it into my head that if I was unmarried at 35, I was an old maid. Not at 34, not at 36, but 35 was the magic turning point. If you would have told me at the age of 16 that I would be unmarried at 35, I would probably have cried. This was truly my worst nightmare as a child or teenager. And not only am I unmarried, with the exception of one recent two and a half month relationship, I've been single for nearly a decade. I've never been married and I don't have any kids. And I love it. I love spreading out in my bed every night, never lying awake because my partner is snoring. I love having my house to myself, which means I could buy a pink Christmas tree and I didn't have to ask anyone for permission to do that. I love choosing what to do with my time. I love that my dog loves me more than anyone else. I love that I don't have to check in with anyone before making decisions or making plans. I love that I can be as messy as I want. I love that I can make as much noise as I want or I can rot on the couch whenever I feel like it and I'll never be judged because no one will even know. And yet for a long time, there was this nagging dissatisfaction. I've often felt really, really lonely. I've often felt like I was missing out on life. Every birthday since 25, I felt a wave of panic that I was still not married, not even close. I pushed myself to sign up for dating apps, even paid for some dating apps. I spent hours swiping and chatting with matches that never turned into anything. I have more terrible dating stories than anyone I know. And after a month of this, I would delete all my apps only to repeat the cycle a few months later. I felt all this societal pressure of what I was supposed to do. Pair off with some guy, make some babies, or else become an old maid and be alone forever. It was as if my desirability as a partner would completely expire at 35, and that's really the last chance. But I've never really been one to do what I was supposed to do, at least not if I didn't really want to do it. <laughs> I was supposed to choose a career at 18, and I didn't do that. I was supposed to work a stable job, and I haven't done that either. I also thought I was supposed to travel the world as a digital nomad, and that also didn't stick. Now that I'm about to turn 35 though, that pressure is gone. I failed. I didn't meet anyone. I didn't get married. I didn't have a baby and I feel so relieved. I feel like I don't have to try anymore. I can just go about my life and really enjoy it instead of feeling like something is missing. I don't have to force myself to go to bars or chat with weirdos on dating apps. I don't have to force myself to settle for someone I don't really like. Sometimes I do wonder why this is my path. I know people who are absolutely terrible, but they're married. Well, why hasn't there been anyone for me? I mean, there haven't even really been opportunities. In the past four years, I think I've met like five people I was attracted to and they either already had a partner or they weren't interested in me. My therapist once told me that a person's relationship status is not an indicator of their level of happiness and satisfaction in their life. There are married people who are very happy and there are married people who are supremely miserable. <laughs>
And there are single people who are happy and there are single people who are miserable. Whether you have a partner is not the deciding factor in how happy you are about your life. At this point, I do know what I'm looking for and I know that I deserve to be in exactly the right relationship with someone I really love and who loves me back. Someone who loves and accepts all the things that I mentioned before that were reasons why I liked being alone. <laughs> Someone who doesn't judge me for rotting or being messy or having a lot of ideas. Someone who's going to be enthusiastic with me. Someone who's not going to put me down to make themselves feel better. And if it happens, great. If not, also great. This isn't to say that every single woman over 35 is an old maid. In fact, according to a 2020 article from The Guardian, the average age at which UK heterosexual couples marry is 35.7 for women and 38 years old for men. And according to a 2019 analysis, since 1990, the midlife first marriage rate has increased by 75% for women and 45% for men. The shares of women and men entering a first marriage who are aged 40 to 59 quadrupled between 1990 and 2019, rising from 2% to 9% among women and from 3% to 12% among men. So I'm certainly not alone in being unmarried at 35. And if you are 35 or older and you're not married, I'm right here with you. By the way, the statistic that you're more likely to be killed in a terrorist attack than get married after 40 is not true, and it never was true. Maybe it will still happen for me. Maybe not. <sighs> Either way, I'm happy. Honestly, being in a relationship, I've never enjoyed it. I've never had a happy relationship, so it's hard for me to imagine what the point of that is. <laughs> like, it's easier to just be alone. But I feel like I'm finally able to accept myself as a single person and understand that there is nothing missing from my life. I have all the love I need inside of myself and I feel good about that. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support me, I have a Patreon. By the way, if it looks like I'm moving my mouth kind of weird, if you've seen my other videos, I had oral surgery on my gums on Saturday, so I'm kind of can't move my upper lip. I'm a stiff upper lip. Can't smile all the way. It's very annoying. Okay, bye. <laughs>